Hello and welcome back my fellow mages and mystics and today we have got some stuff to do. Uh, as you can see we're getting ready to <clears throat> do some copper smelting and I found this in a ruins. As you can see smelting temperature 1084C Uh, burn temperature 1200 so and peat is only 900 peat won't melt the copper but it will uh, warm it up and I'm gonna take two pieces of that back we're gonna put that back there uh, we need to make something I need a piece of rope. I need some sticks. Put the rope here. And that there should make tongs. So when you heat things up, they're very hot, obviously. And uh, yeah, you can't pick things up that's over a thousand degrees you'll basically melt right through your hands in real life so the game is uh, using that mechanic and pretty soon here okay you're starting to see it turn orange more orange uh, it's over 900 degrees it's close to a thousand degrees it's getting close to 1080 then you should start seeing when this reaches 1080 in here that's very yellow Ten eighty. that should start yeah see the bar is going we're gonna put one more piece in there for that and we're just gonna wait for it to basically melt and then when that is done we are going to go and look at something else but if you don't have this coal there's something else that you have to do uh, if you're not lucky enough to find something like this in a ruin you'll have to make a charcoal pit which is what we have going on over here <clears throat> bunch of firewood I'm going to stack the firewood up, finish getting that stacked up <coughs> while we're waiting. And then we're going to go back and look at our copper. That is done. So now we have the tongs in our offhand. We can take this. We have a pickaxe mold. Okay. Okay. And a hammer mold. And now our crucible is empty again. That can burn. Uh, we need to let these cool. Can't pick them up. I think we can take that out of our uh, offhand. So, <clears throat> oh, the charcoal pit you have to cover them up. Uh, I'm just going to do this just because and we need grass so we'll put that there. It says fire pit in construction. I saved that's why I had the four pieces of peat make the fire pit I don't need the fire I don't need the peat for that I need uh, 
Okay, now charcoal pit is unlit. Now it's registering that it's a charcoal pit. So now if we light this, we have to cover that. Then we gotta wait for a second. And hopefully if we did everything right, Aha, I see the smoke particles coming off of this. This means that that is a charcoal pit in progress. So hopefully we did everything right and smoke will start rising. Okay, but the smoke is rising. So we're going to have to wait until the smoke quits on that. Uh, we could probably have done something else in there. But, uh, I'm going to put some of this stuff back in there. Uh, that, I don't need that on. That we're going to use momentarily. Um, medium fertility soil. That can go in there. That can go in there. <clears throat> so, now that we have... I did it backwards. I did the copper first and then did the charcoal pit. Um, if you want to do ore melting on your own, you have to do it opposite the way I did. You have to make charcoal pit first, then get the charcoal, then do that stuff. So while that is going, I hear a rift. We have a rift right next to our place awesome so we have I keep hitting the wrong button we have some barrels down here and we got a bunch of fish blackmore goldfish koi okay we have barrels full of water so we have oak wood so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put five pieces of oak wood will turn into 50 liters of weak tannin after 24 hours of sealing. So we're going to seal that. Then we're going to do the same thing to here. And we're going to seal that one. That is starting to make tannin for our leather working. Now for leather working, we need something else. We need lime. And do I have... Do I don't have... Splash. I was going to say, I don't have the gears on me. Luckily, we found a dude over here that has lime. So we are going to run past here. We're going to check our... One of our snares is down, so we're going to set that back up. They've been kind of working. I got a crab, and I got... Ah, uh, yep, I got hurt. I got something else, and there's a, there's a rift right here on this platform. That's awesome. So, we are going to go for a little trip. We're going to go get some lime. Now, normally, I haven't really looked into how to do it. If you find like the limestones, I think you put it in your corn and you grind it that way. We're going to get a little bit of this soft sedge here as we're passing by so we can have some food as we go before we get into this area over here. eat this <clears throat> and that'll <clears throat> give our belly some stuff I'm gonna collect these flowers because we're getting ready ooh onions heck yeah I'll take an onion I'll take some corn flowers too because we're gonna be doing bees before too long here so we need flowers. So as we see nice looking flowers, 
we're going to grab some here and there. We have the inventory space for it. Um, cilantro, okay. We'll grab some of that. Two. Four, okay, that's good. We'll grab food, obviously. Aha! Uh -huh. What do we have here? More flax, alright. I'm gonna grab all these since they're close. Since they're close to home. Okay, onion seed. I don't know if we have onions yet. <clears throat> so that's gonna be good. Um, cilantro. There's some things you can do with these. You can turn them into seeds. Uh, I already have eight rhubarb seeds. I don't need more rhubarb at the moment. So I'm not going to turn them into seeds. <clears throat> I'm just going to eat until we get a decent amount here. Double check our map. We're heading in the wrong direction. The trader should be this way almost straight this way <clears throat> okay there's more rhubarb here I'm not gonna bother to stop and get that black currants I will grab some of these black currant berries that I see ripe same with red currant I'm gonna take my knife and get a couple blackcurrant cuttings because we want to propagate all the food that we can sage I'll grab that and we have something back at home that I also want to show you guys when we do get back. Holy cow. There's a big pit there. Ooh. Spelt. Well, we have plenty of spelt, but we'll grab it. Alright. Maple tree hollow. There can be good stuff in these hollows. So there's more of that. And what is this? An astral gear. Uh, what is that? Um, bald cypress. And there's nothing else in that. Okay. That I can see anyhow. Wood spurge. You don't want to eat that. Okay, flax. We want to get flax. Rhubarb, okay. Rabbit. A ram. Another rabbit. Okay. Off this way a bit. And another oak tree. That's fine, but we have plenty of that for the moment. Okay, Heather and the trader. So we're at the trailer. We kind of took a bit of a, a bit of time to get here. But we were also... Ooh, rye. We do need more rye seeds. Okay. So, we just gotta be careful. I've been listening for the growls of bears and wolves. So, now that we're here, we have no room. So, I'm gonna eat... these that gives us a pretty much full belly 
Ah, alum chunk. Blasting powder. Halite stone. Linen. Charcoal. Feathers. Sulfur. He does not have the limestone. Hmm. Used as a mordant for dye making. Mm. Well, that is disappointing. We took this trip all the way out here and didn't really get much of anything. I have went on an adventure up here looking at ruins and such. Sells chests. We're quite a ways from that one. Um, hmm. I think that is pretty much straight this way. We've had good luck and haven't heard any howls or grunts. I'm still keeping my ears open. Okay. Still keeping my eyes open too. Ooh. Ooh, we've got some stuff here. Um. Hmm. These mushrooms can, I believe, be replaced. I want to grab some of these blueberry bush clippings. Ah, uh, I saw something. Ooh. It's a ruin. A pretty big ruin, too, by the look of it. And that is pretty cool. I do need to get rid of a couple things, though. Um, Cornflowers, yeah, you can go. Because first thing I want to grab from right here is that those come in handy. <laughs> Whoa. Alright. Okay, come on. Dang it. Ooh, translocator up here. An owl treasure chest. Alright, that is pretty cool. Um, we don't need the food for the moment. So, I'm keeping those. I should keep my sticks. Bowl. Onion seeds, flax seeds. We don't need the <coughs> spelt seeds, so we will do that. Book. Okay, there's some unlit torches. Another copper spear. That's cool. What? Okay, that's water. Um, I'm gonna sacrifice the sticks. I know. I know shouldn't do it but I want to get this owl treasure chest because I'll toss that I'll grab that I'm not seeing much 
of anything else here. But I do want to do something here. Come up here. Okay, yeah, there's... It's quite the lookout. I'm going to mark this. There's another ruin over here by the look of it. Tower ruin. We'll mark that. So we can get to it. <clears throat> now we're going to head back to that trader. Which should be... this direction I'm not gonna just jump and hope we live we will come back to this I will jump there so we may have even some more stuff down here maybe under it since we have some of these, I'm going to grab more. Since they're right here. I believe you can use mushrooms in a meal instead of meat. So, okay, now the trader is back past this. We will come back and explore that tower. But for the moment, let's run back to the trader because I believe they wanted to buy an owl treasure chest for like 12 gears. And that is pretty... That's a good penny, to be completely honest with you. Okay, I gotta go back this way. Don't get lost in the woods. Because you will get taken out by a bear. Oh, I just heard one. We're not even stopping to look. Ha, ah, see? He was right behind us. Got anything to trade? Owl treasure chest. Sell. Now we have 20 gears. That was pretty serendipitous. Uh, so yeah. But he does not have the limestone. So we need to... I think we've lost the bear's interest long enough to grab the mustard. And GTFO. Very quickly. Ooh. Seven liters of rot. Holy crap, there's stuff in here that I want. Sticks doesn't matter. Um, that's a lot of grass. We don't need the wooden tongs, and they're really cheap. I want the coat. Uh, that. The rot would be really good, too. Is there anything I can sacrifice? Um, yes, actually. Let's eat the mustard. Nothing like eating a bunch of raw mustard. <clears throat> because I want the rot. Sounds weird, I know. But we'll take that. Um, I would have loved to have gotten the mint. <clears throat> but we are getting close to 
nighttime, and I wanna, I wanna roll here. I wanna get out, get heading back towards home. Yep, we can go straight across here. I'm going to take my torches out of my main hand. Catmint, I'm sorry. There's more there's St. John's Worth there. Because coming across here, we're gonna be dunking underwater. There's a frog. <coughs> I turn this way a bit. And yes, it's dark, and I'm sorry. We will be home shortly. And we will jump into bed. And we will have to continue the leather working tomorrow. Or in the next episode, whichever comes first. Probably we'll work on doing the leather working in the next episode. Because there's some other stuff we gotta do. It is 1930. Very close to being dark. That's still going. But this stuff should be hardened. And that is what I'm wanting to see. Rot can go in there. The what, mm, torch holder. Let's put that there. Put a torch in it. Uh, okay, there's more rot there. That's 64. And we'll turn into 16 compost after 20 days of sealing. So we will seal that. Now we have compost going. So let's go to bed. I should have put the food stuff away before I went to bed, but that's all right. So, we'll wake up. Now we're going to throw the food stuff in here. Um, for, uh, there, we've, got, we've got time on those. Okay. Um, cuttings. Seeds. We'll throw the seeds in there that we can. Throw the seeds in there that we can. Okay, we have more rot, so let's throw that up here. Uh, licorice, dock, we have some stuff. Astral gear, I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to do some research on that. So we're going to put some stuff in there. Okay, bald cypress seed, we're going to go and plant that. Cypress. How about we plant that right there? All right, and it looks like our charcoal pit is done. So let us see. I have a, I have a shovel. It looks like it worked. Yeah, this is charcoal pit and you mine it with a shovel so let's get this mined out real quick see how much charcoal we got out of all of that wood we put a, I put a lot of wood in there as you can see um, but yeah, this will be enough charcoal 
to keep us going for the immediate future. 49 pieces of charcoal. Okay, good. That is good. Now, like I said, there was something else that I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to put that spear in there. And that was... We have a goat. Uh, we have a female goat. I did manage to take down the rest of that. Okay, and there's that. Uh, do we have... Okay, we don't have anything about that yet. Our snares are still up. But up in this direction, right up here, I'm going to see if I can find it. Haha! -ha. Yes, right here. Terra Preta. We're going to mine this out. See how much we got. Doesn't look like a big chunk of it. Sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, just nineteen pieces, but it's a start. I'm just going to trim this back a little bit. Yeah, there was a gravestone here, and I got the stuff out of that gravestone. But 19 pieces of terra preta. That, you see what it says, fertility when tilled, 80%. That is the best farmland in the game. I was making compost and stuff to make high fertility, which is second best, but terra preta still beats it hands down. Uh, and it was right there close to home. So that was win, win, win. And I wasn't even looking for it. I had been out looking for it on a couple excursions. And I just happened to be on my way back home after doing some foraging. And I just happened to see it. I didn't have room to dig it up at the time, <clears throat> but I marked it. I'm being careful and looking. Do I have this one marked? I don't have this one marked, so more blue clay. There's lots of clay around. But I thought I heard a bear grumble. So I'm trying to be cautious. And listen. Oh, resin. That's for making machines later on. <clears throat> Gonna mark that too. Resin tree. Mark that in bright yellow. Thought I saw something that I didn't want to see in that direction. That's just a pit. There's another pit. Did you hear that growl? That was a wolf. But yeah, that was what I was <clears throat> listening for, is those growls. So, 
I think we have had a pretty eventful uh, episode. We have just enough room in here to store our Terra Preta. <clears throat> and that is awesome. So, guys, let us go. And I threw up my sticks. So that's not a big deal. A beach. Black poplar. Let's knock this beech tree down. Come on. Get some sticks. And we got a beech seed. We can replant. Uh, two sticks, which is fine. Because it's the exact number that we need for our Copper pickaxe. And copper hammer. The next episode, we will look more at those. And I want to talk about what's going on just up here. Now right here, I've started building something. Oh, we have a... easy bit of meat oh really ha ah. So, a decent sized aurochs. Gotta get closer. And it has nine red meat, a large hide, a lump of fat, some more bones, and a brain. Then, when we get rid of that, it has even more bones. So, what this is going to be. This is what I'm working on is cold storage uh, for food. I'm going to have, I'm going to probably line one of these walls, maybe this one, with clay vessels and shelves. And this is where we're going to start storing our long term food. I'm going to grab some more of this because it's here and I can use this to make meals because we're getting very hungry. We're hungry boys. But we had a very successful and exciting episode this time. Uh, might not seem like a lot was very exciting, but getting into, breaking into the beginning stages of the Copper Age uh, to me, that's very exciting. I use my axe and take out these willow branches. I don't know if horses are edible. Uh, I mean, I know in real life it's, I think it's illegal in the United States, but some cultures in the world do live on horse meat, horse milk, and things of that nature, uh, made from our friends, the horse. But we are going to call it there. I'm going to take care of food. Uh, we have brains, which can be used for cooking. Um, yeah. And just a lot of stuff to take care of here. I've got some stuff that is going spoiled. Unfortunately, I've got some meats that are going spoiled. But that can be more rot that we are starting to save up on. Uh, cow parsley, I don't care about that. <clears throat> we have <coughs> a bunch of more bones here. 
some more fat there. Hide. Mm. Um, I'll grab these now. Because with those torches, you can put down the lit torch. Then you can light that, break that. So what I should have done when I first got them. But, as neither here nor there. And we have quite a number of advancements made today. That's our charcoal, our sheep, we have Terra Preta now, which I'm going to start coming over here. Just checking on this. Oh, we have tannin now. Now we just need limestone. I'm going to start coming over here and start digging this back because I stepped on my own stupidness. There's peat here. So I can break that out, dig this up. All the way back, I can clear out a bunch of this stuff, clear out the tool and the sedge and things like that, which I did to begin with. But, yeah, also our farm is coming along nicely. Uh, it is now the second day of June, so we are progressing in the year, and we need to basically get a boogie on for some things. We have a fish here, which is nice. We have a fish here, which is nice. We don't have a hook on that. We don't have that. So let's just do this real quick. And a char. That's that. And I believe with this we can make fish jerky salt okay well we have some more even more meat so our fish traps have been man I'm telling you they have been paying for themselves in spades they have literally saved my life and we are hungry so Let's get a bowl. Get this out. That is red meat stew with boiled burnet and soft sedge. And crock. And it is fresh. So that is that. That is a decent enough meal. So we're going to put that back on our shelf. This stupidness here. I'm going to plant this in there for the donkeys. Give them something. Give them a little something nice. So, with that being said, guys, I hope you are enjoying the progress and everything that we have accomplished in today's episode. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one and stay magical. Bye-bye.